This is Caitlin Campbell, and I Who? doubt we'll ever see another uh. comment section nearly as brutal as her. She gets called Heavy Potter, Lesbian Peter Griffin, and White Kim Jong Un. Hey, so Although, if you're familiar with Caitlyn Campbell's content, Jackson. you might argue that Great she really doesn't deserve it. Her oh, videos focus on the uncontroversial topic of coffee, initially posting tutorials on how to make certain types or use specific pieces of gear. My goal on TikTok is to help you brew the best coffee you possibly can at home. Since she was also promoting her own product called Street Brew, Caitlin added videos talking about how she ran her business. Welcome to the day in the life of a 29 year old small business owner who makes coffee for a living. And while this was already hard enough to manage. Running a small business, running any kind of business is tough. There are gonna be bad days, there are gonna be bad seasons, there are gonna be days you wanna throw in the towel. There was another thing making it even harder. From the moment I started posting on TikTok, I was met with hate and trolls and negative comments. Like Really? The moment I started posting. You're like, here's some coffee. <laughs> yeah. And, and just like, like hate destroy. <laughs> on an early video encouraging people to open their own business, Caitlin received comments such as, maybe start a gym, CEO of food, and all you do is roast coffee beans, calm down. This understandably oh, on, began bro. to hurt her feelings. Definitely like really bothered me, cause yeah. like in real life, people aren't jerks like that yeah. mostly. Uh, this is a very <laughs> important point to me. So much that Caitlin felt the need to reply to the negative comments. Building a community, yeah, you started it all. Never claimed I started it all. How can you be good at coffee? The same way you can be good at anything else. Practice and make better coffee. You're just making coffee. Everyone is good at making coffee. I beg to differ with the continual hate bringing Caitlyn to a crossroads. You have two choices. Keep posting content and ignore the trolls, ignore the haters and go out there and win or stop posting content and do something else. Rather than defending herself, and let them she win. began embracing the elements that made her page unique. How I deal with the hate. I don't live and die by the comments. I'm not searching for validation from people who don't know me. And when asked if she could focus on- Chat, I'm not trying to be a hater, chat. Guys, guys, isn't this what the machine does downstairs? It, it does that? by the comments. I'm not searching for validation from people who don't know me. And when asked if she could focus on the coffee and not inspirational speeches, Caitlin politely told the viewer that she'd keep doing whatever she wanted, which when done this eloquently certainly adds to a person's charm. It's so funny to see people getting so triggered over somebody sharing stuff about their passion. We get it, you don't like coffee. It honestly blows my mind. People get so triggered Please over defense. coffee. Why are people getting so mad? It's literally just coffee. Say it louder for the people in the back. It's so funny to see people get mad you like coffee. Everyone has hobbies, so what's wrong with coffee being one? It's crazy how triggered people get, although this failed to stop the rapidly increasing negative Jesus. comments. On a video simply talking about her daily coffee intake, viewers berated her by stating, how about you watch your calorie intake too? You yeah, eat whoa, two whoa, chocolate whoa. cakes a day though too, yeah? You don't look like you worry about intakes. I guess she didn't really help herself by making lattes out of Fruit Loops, although the shirt she was wearing in the video revealed another reason she perhaps didn't deserve the hate. Caitlin explained that she began TikTok because she missed out on her dream job. So I got rejected from what I thought was like my dream job at the time. I used to be a pastor. It was a, a very big pastoring job. Which was a role she'd been studying for over four years. So I wanted to go into ministry. That's what I went yeah. to school for. I worked in ministry for four years. And while being religious doesn't automatically make her better or moral, you could say that somebody who dreams of being a church pastor might be slightly more ethical than the standard TikTok troll. Because Caitlin then revealed that 20% of her company's revenue goes to the homeless population in her city, which if anything uh. led to a positive article titled, Father-Daughter Duo Behind Street Brew Coffee Wants to Serve Up Real Change for Toronto's Homeless. Well, that's nice. Caitlin also but managed to land a spot on breakfast television until her positive path was reversed by one single TikTok that created a whole new wave of hate. Making coffee is harder than your nine to five. Hear me out. First, you have to weigh out your coffee to the exact gram, and then you have to get it ground up. It is exhausting turning this crank over and over again. Then, after weighing out your water and getting it heated up, you have to pour it out in circular motions over and over and over again until you reach the goal weight. The whole process can take four to six plus minutes, depending on what brew method you're using, just pouring water over and over. Then, finally, after all that hard work, you can enjoy the cup, but man, I'm exhausted. I need a nap. After her TikTok gained over two million views, it was duetted by people working in manual labor. Making coffee is harder than your nine to five. Dang.
which were captioned with titles such as so thankful I'm not making coffee anytime soon. Honestly don't Get know on, how I'd manage. When a similar duet gained over 13,000 upvotes, most people managed to realize that Caitlyn's video was satire. However, it seemed as though the backlash was exactly what she wanted. Yeah, like, I'm just trying to engagement bait. That's my goal. Given a single negative tweet bashing Caitlyn, Oh, that's tough, chat. Guys, that's tough. You know what, chat? I'm gonna have a different take in the video itself. If you, if you engage in bait deliberately, right? Cool or whatever, right? But then if you get upset at what type of attention you get, then it's not entirely fair anymore. It's just like, you're, you don't get to really to choose what type of engagement you get when you bait it. It's just gonna... Given a single negative tweet bashing Caitlyn would explode her mainstream presence. The post featured a video of Caitlyn with the caption, What is this phenotype? Nickelodeon and its consequences. To which Caitlyn politely responded, Oh hey, that's me. I just love my job and want to make people smile. Which wound up gaining over 30 million views. Her humble response led to favor from the media, as well as a shout out from an Instagram page called Quentin Quarantino, with a post gaining almost almost 70,000 likes. Caitlin explained how much the hate had helped her grow. A couple days ago, a troll posted one of my pop-up videos in the hopes of tearing me down and spreading negativity, but it backfired in the best way possible. We were flooded with orders. We had our best sales day ever. We grew thousands of followers and just got so much positive feedback, comments, and messages. Although with a bigger Instagram following, Caitlin faced another problem. While TikTok automatically filters hateful comments, Instagram is quite so generous, oh, no. and as a result her posts filled with nothing but brutal insults. In the process, Caitlyn cultivated the world's most dedicated hater, Anonymous51782, who went through all of her old posts to write negative comments on all of them. Caitlyn's haters also developed a whole new style of comment, simply writing hate from followed by their place. There was hate from Epstein's Island, hate from St. Jude's Children's Hospital, hate from the front lines of Ukraine, and hate from the cartels, but more simply there was hate from Australia which gained the attention of the Yo Mama's House podcast. This is one of the biggest ones that goes people just write hate. <laughs> Hate from Australia. Hey, <laughs> we're on the other side of the world. Just want you to know that I hate you. <laughs> In a 13 minute video talking about the hate, Tom Segura pointed out that the comments were getting more likes than she had followers. Ignore all the positive comments. <laughs> 70,000 likes. I don't know. And she man. doesn't have like a million followers. This is a meager account. Yeah. I mean, it has like 40,000, which is not nothing for sure. Although it'd be also through this video that Caitlyn's following quadrupled, which she'd capitalize on in a pretty clever way by launching a Hate From Australia coffee blend. Talk about turning lemonade from lemons. Brilliant marketing move. As a result, Caitlyn became a guest on the podcast. So we got your mom's house coffee uh, and then the Hate From Australia, which is actually <laughs> Australian coffee. So nice this blend. Is. And when given the chance to slam her competition, she uh, would is. do the opposite. I've heard a lot of coffee enthusiasts say that Starbucks is crap. What's your take on that? We owe a lot of third wave coffee success to Starbucks, so no animosity there. They started the third wave coffee movement without the them. The third wave? Roasters like me wouldn't exist. Caitlin then expanded on her strategy for dealing with hate. I What's know that? who I am as a yeah. person. I'm, I'm very confident in who I am. I have a great support system. That's awesome. A uh, very close circle of people, and they can call me on my BS, and they're more than allowed to, and if you're not in my close circle, I don't really care about your opinion Such that cheaply. Such a good, <laughs> good way. After which she and Tom filmed a classic TikTok workout. I don't get it. And with comments such as, Tom Segura bought me here and you're now my favorite person, it seemed her appearance on the podcast had made a significant impact. Caitlin's therefore become so popular she's had to reject certain coffee events. We're getting emails. They're like, oh, we want to come here, we want to come here. We're like, absolutely not. <laughs> we are taking the year off, the rest of the year off. With her social media journey being best summarized by the following comment. Words cannot express how much much love I have for all the hate you've gotten. Look what happens when you're a good sport and roll with the punches while staying true to your original mission. That's so actually impressive. For you. I mean, just as a sellout. I mean, versus a business owner. That's kind of the whole point. Like, to sell product. Like, you're talking to a salesperson that owns a business, you say sell out. I mean, it is what it is. Like, they sell a product, it's their, it's their job. If, they, if they're able to sell out, it means they're doing a good job.